Hey everyone, the name is Eric Dorn. Today we're talking about introverted feeling. And what is introverted feeling but subjectivity? Subjectivity in its most raw, its most pure form possible. Yes, introverted feeling types, they are utopian idealists. They are sometimes aggravatingly innocent, almost naive. They are people that pull on and reinforce constantly their own subjective viewpoints and values and beliefs and opinions outside of and almost in contradiction of the system and the law and the reasons that we all think are correct and valid and logical in today's society. So the introverted feeling type is the artist type. It is the way of the artist. When you're an introverted feeling type, you are and you feel almost naturally pulled towards this escapist idealism, this escapist world of ideals, this inner utopia or this inner concept of what I like and what I dislike. So introverted feeling types, they are in many times... Uh, closest version of the archetype of the child in the sense that or in the ideal of that child's first notions of what they want to be and who they want to be and what kind of persons they are and what they pursue and what they dream of often their dreams can be dismissed as impossible or stupid or as too difficult there is often no logical explanation behind this. There is no reasoning behind why you want to be a pilot. There is no thought out logical principle of why you want to be an astronaut. There is no thought of notion of why you would possibly want to be an artist or a musician. These things just come from inside. It's just something you want, some kind of internalized subjectivity. So introverted feeling is uh, to sometimes, so to some types, almost aggravatingly naive. It takes no regard to and it constantly forgets to think about what is logical or what is smart or what is pragmatic. You know, people can tell the introverted feeling type it is smart to choose a certain study path or to go into a certain career or to get a driver's license or to go through a certain thing. But introverted feeling is very, very much self-motivated and at times it is very self-absorbed. It is not selfish. Often feeling takes a turn towards being more giving, generous and agreeable. But it is self-absorbed. It is very much focused on its own personal values and motives. What do I want? What do I like? Often it's that the artist cannot help but be swayed by these thoughts and by these values. It's not that they are just logically deciding not to do it. And this is the misunderstanding. We assume everyone is logical. We assume that people are not doing a certain thing because they don't understand the logical reasoning behind it. No, when it comes to the introverted feeling type, the problem is emotional, social, values-based rather than rational. It's the problem is that they cannot choose it even though they know it is logical because they feel they have to do something else. They feel more pulled towards something else and they are more pulled by this inner concept of what I like and what I feel like doing than what the system has told them is smart or what the law or the boss or the outward principles have outlined to be the good approach. So introverted feeling is a very difficult function and it's difficult because it's, uh, it causes this proclamation to introspect, you know, introverted feeling types are living in an almost constant existential crisis without necessarily the anxiety of having an existential crisis. They are constantly introspecting and reflecting on their own behavior. No negative emotion necessary behind this. It's just a pure self-reflection. Why did I do this? Why do I feel this way? What made me want that? What brought me here? Why is, what's my purpose for being in this place? It's 
also this idea this idealization of the world and of especially the inner world the inner world is perceived as uh, or is understood in a highly idealized and positive manner it's all connected it's all connected to my purpose it's all a reflection of who i am and it's just a natural part of myself Everything I do is a part of this idealized, you know, dramatized inner world of fantasy, of fiction, of uh, science fiction, <laughs> of uh, literature. Everything is a story. Everything is a story you tell yourself. So when you're an introverted feeling type, you're almost constantly preoccupied with your own subjectivity. You cannot help but be. It's not that you don't understand logic. In fact, you can be effortlessly very logical. You can think of reasons and you can explain and you can develop your ability to understand yourself and to come up with logical frameworks for something. But in reality, you're just rationalizing what you already want. And you have to be aware of this principle in yourself as an introverted feeling type. It's very common to rationalize your own feelings and your own subjectivity and to come up with rationalizations afterwards to prove that what you are feeling is correct. But this is an unnecessary, often unnecessary practice because you like it because you like it. It's turtles all the way down. Everything is just because it is. A lot of the time your explanations and your feelings need no explanation. They just are. So the rationalizations you call upon through introverted thinking are going to be clouded by this subjectivity. You want something so you will choose to see the world logically in a way that will explain and overlap with what you want. But it is enough to say I want something. It is not necessary to explain why you want it. It is not necessary to engage in a logical conflict with the world to try to build and explain why your way and why your views are logical and rational. However, extroverted thinking is a huge blind spot to the introverted feeling type and often it can be an almost uh, bizarre jump off the cliff. The biggest anxiety as an introverted feeling type is my artist's way, my personal values have no purpose in the world, will give no rational value to the world, will give me no money, no income, will leave me in a feeling po poor and impoverished and homeless. My personal values and innocence is going to eventually lead to my doom. <laughs> yeah. That's how dramatic it can get, you know. Your realization of your own subjectivity and your awareness of your issues will cause you to feel you are at odds with the system and there is no place for you. And ultimately those thoughts and those fears are and can lead to a very dramatic shift to the negative inside yourself. It can lead to a complete second guessing of your own identity and your value and your worth. You can end up flipping your own priorities, judging yourself by what the system thinks rather than what you feel. So if you decide a system has no value for you, you decide that what the system wants, what the system thinks is more important than what you want, than what you think. So we need to work on this attitude and confront this attitude and this conflict, political conflict inside ourselves and explain to ourselves and understand to ourselves that we are valuable because we are valuable. Those uh, kind of statements, they might seem circular, but a lot of the things that we have in this world are circular. A lot of the things in our world are purely because they are. We exist because we exist. That's uh, one of the religious problems of the century. We live because we live. We are because we are. And we could have been completely different. Everything could have been completely different. The sky could have been red and the grass could be blue. Everything could have been somehow different to how it is now. But it is the way it is now. And that's what is enough. 
Introverted feeling has nothing to do with reasoning or logical reasoning, but it can appear to be very intelligent. Knowing yourself is highly intelligent. Knowing yourself is sexy in a sense of words, because it gives you a superpower. It gives you an ability nobody else has, and that is the ability to make life choices that will ultimately guide you towards happiness and purpose and motivation. That self-awareness and that awareness of self is going to help you choose the right career for yourself and to move forward in life not feeling like you are lying to yourself, but it will rather make you feel you are being authentic. It will make you feel that that you are being true to yourself rather than that you are trying to hide or cover something up. Introverted feeling in its flow types drives and guides you towards motivation and a sense of pride and goodness and peace of mind. It gives you that state of mind where you feel truly ultimately good about yourself just the way you are. It leads to self-acceptance. It leads to, you know, making peace with yourself and your struggles and your flaws and your good sides and your bad sides. And it gives you these things without the need for outer validation or without the having to discuss these things with others, without having to tell anyone. It just guides you to this point of place in self. Where you understand yourself and because you understand yourself, you accept and you forgive yourself. That's introverted feeling. Thanks everyone for watching and if you have any thoughts about introverted feeling or if you have had any of these artist struggles, feel free to share them in the comments down below and let's help each other figure out our own paths and let's have a good time. Thanks everyone for watching and see you guys in the next video.